In this video, we're going to see how to compare the contents of two worksheets in Excel. So we have two customer tables here, as you can see, and we want to compare between the values in the different cells so as to make sure that they are the same and if there are any changes we would highlight them and know them so we're going to see how to do that when the two worksheets are in the same workbook or in two different workbooks and we're also going to see how to do that using formulas and also using conditional formatting all right so without further ado let's get started all right so starting by having the two worksheets in the same workbook so here we have two worksheets named customers one and customers two that contain a list of our customers and their contact information. So let's say that we need to compare the values of the cells in the two worksheets and determine if there is any differences. So something nice that we can do is that we can put the two worksheets side by side. And to do that, we can go to the view tab on the ribbon and we can open a new window. And this opens a second window for our document so that we can work in different places at the same time. And we can show the two worksheets at the same time. You can see here that the current workbook's name is called Compare Two Sheets. So now if I click on New Window, I'm going to have a new window opened and I'm going to have here two windows, one called Compare Two Sheets hyphen two or dash two, and the other one is called Compare Two Sheets dash one. So as you can see here, we managed to open two instances of the same workbook. We can now use another feature here under the view tab on the ribbon we can click on arrange all and we can choose to arrange them vertically side by side so if you choose that and click ok you can see here that now we have our two workbooks put side by side vertically and i can choose customers one on one window and customers two on the second window so that I'm able to see the two worksheets at the same time. All right, so let's see how we can compare the two sheets using conditional formatting. So I'm going to select all the values here in one worksheet. So I'm going to select cell A1 and then control shift right and control shift down to select all the values. And then I'm going to go to the home tab on the ribbon and under conditional formatting, I'm going to create a new rule and and I'm going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And my formula is going to be to check that the value in cell A1 in customers 1. And let's make sure to remove the locking of the reference here so as to make it relative. So I press F4, F4, F4 to make it relative for both the row and the column without any dollar signs. And then I'm going to check that it's not equal to A1 in customers 2. So I'm I'm just going to select A1 in customers too like this and let's make sure as well that it's relative so I press F4 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 three times so as to remove the dollar signs here as well on the A1 reference in the sheet called customers too. So this is going to be my condition here which is that the values are not equal to each other. So if this is true, what I want to do is to add some formatting here. So I'll add a red fill and I'll make the font white as well. And I'll click OK and click OK again. And now, as you can see here, it's highlighting the cells that are different. So you can see here that Carlos Mendoza on this one is with an S, but Carlos Mendoza here is with a Z at the end. So this is a difference. And then here on the address is 220 Young Street written using the correct spelling. But here it's actually Young Street as in Young. So you can see here the spelling is different. This is actually the correct spelling for Young Street in Canada. And this is the incorrect spelling. So as you can see here, it's highlighting the cells or conditionally formatting the cells that have different values. All right, so this is how you can do it using conditional formatting. If you need to remove the conditional formatting, you can just select the cells here that you applied the conditional formatting to. And then under the home tab, under conditional formatting, you can just clear rules, clear rules from selected cells. And as you can see here, now we've cleared the rules and there's no conditional formatting applied anymore. All right, so the second way to compare the two worksheets in the same workbook is to use a formula. And to use a formula, we're just going to create a new worksheet here and we're going to call it comparison. So in this worksheet, we're going to write a formula to check 
the values between the two worksheets, customers one and customers two. So to do that, we're gonna write an if formula, so equals if, and we're gonna check if the value in customers one, so I'll check here starting from cell A1, we're gonna check that this value is equal to the value of the same cell here in customers two, and if that is the case, then I just want to view the value in customers one, and then if it's not the case, then what we can do is that we can view the two values. I mean, that's an option. We can also type no match, for example. But if we want to view the two values, then we can just write value one and then a colon. And let's also put a space and then we can concatenate onto that the value in customers one or the first value. And we can also concatenate a pipe sign with a space before it and a space after it. And then we can also concatenate onto that value two with a colon and then a space. And we will then concatenate onto that the value in customers two, which is the value for the cell in customers two. And let's close the bracket and press enter. So as you can see here, because the customer ID value for the table header is matching, we get the customer ID. We'll drag the formula all the way to column F and then we can drag down all the way to row 41 because the two sheets had 41 rows. And as you can see here, if the value is matching, we get the value. But if it is not matching, you can see here, for example, here for Carlos Mendoza, we get value one and value two, we get what is in value one and what is in value two. So value one is in the one in customers one, it's Carlos Mendoza. And value two is the one in customers two, which is Carlos Mendoza with a Z at the end. We also get the same here with a Young Street. So you can see here, we've got Young Street with the correct spelling on value one or the customers one table and Young Street with the incorrect spelling in the value two or customers two table. All right, so this is a nice formula that we can use to show one value in case the values are equal and to show the two different values in case the values are not equal. Now let's say that you have the two worksheets in two different workbooks. So here we have the worksheet customers one in a workbook called customers one and the worksheet customers two in a workbook called customers two. So as you can see here, they are in two different workbooks. And let's say you that you want to view them side by side. So you can go to the view tab on the ribbon and here here you will see view side by side. So if you click on this button here, you can see here that it will view all the open workbooks side by side. And then you have a feature that is active here by default called synchronous scrolling. And this will help you scroll two documents at the same time. So this is a great way to visually compare two documents as well. So if you scroll down here using the scrolling wheel or even scroll like this here by pressing and holding with your mouse button here, you can see here that the two workbooks are scrolling down at the same time time. If you disable this synchronous scrolling feature, then if you scroll one workbook, the other workbook will not scroll at the same time. So in case the data is in two different workbooks, we're not going to be able to use conditional formatting because if you try to use conditional formatting, you will get an error, which is that you may not use references to other workbooks for conditional formatting criteria because you can't reference other workbooks in conditional formatting. So our only option is to use a formula. So in this case, we could just open a new worksheet and then we can write a formula so equals if and we will test here that cell A1 in customers one here is equal to cell A1 in the workbook customers two. But notice here that the reference is locked at the moment. It's locked on both the row and the column. So you need to make sure to make it relative or unlocked on the row and on the column. So press F4 on your keyboard, keep cycling between the different types of references until you obtain a relative reference here with the dollar signs removed, or you can even remove them manually by backspacing the dollar signs. So as you can see here, the reference is not locked anymore. This is our logical test. And if the value is true, then give me the value in customers one for a one. And for the value of false, let's show both values. So we're going to type value one here. So value one with a colon and 
a space after it and let's close our double quotes and let's concatenate that onto the first value and then we'll concatenate that onto a pipe symbol with a space before and after and let's also concatenate that onto value two with a colon here and a space after it and let's close our double quotes and concatenate that onto the second value and let's make sure as well to remove the locking from the reference here and make it relative on on the second value here so we're all set here let's close our brackets and press enter and now we can drag the formula all the way to the right here to column G and let's drag it to row 41 as we have 40 rows here on our data so as you can see here we will have our differences highlighted so we have here Carlos Mendoza versus Carlos Mendoza so on customers one we had Carlos Mendoza and on customers two we had Carlos Mendoza and we also have another difference here which is Young Street the spelling on Young Street is different between customers one and customers two so as you can see here we managed to write a formula to compare the data between two worksheets that are in two different workbooks all right so as you can see in case that the data is in two different workbooks we're not able to use conditional formatting we're only able to use formulas however you can actually make the two worksheets in the same workbook if you just right click on one of the worksheets click on move or copy here and then go to the other workbook here and move it you can either move it or copy it if you check this checkbox copy it to the other workbook so that you can have them both in the same workbook as you can see here now i have them both in the same workbook and then you can apply either formulas or conditional formatting also there is a way to compare two different worksheets using vba so if you would like us to create a video about that please leave me a comment down below and we can create a video about it all right guys so this concludes our video today so if you found the video helpful please make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with all of our future videos and please make sure to follow us on social media you'll find the links down below in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video